the Western world has become very technologic. So everything is sophisticated. And architecture has been separated to the body, to the making. And in Africa, we have the change because we are at the beginning of our technical, technological development. I think we can uh, use what we have the most. It is power. We have a lot of labor. We can use them to make great architecture. You see the school, and we have a hill, not that big one, like in Cape Town. <laughs> what I had as idea as somebody who is coming from a part of the world where more than 80% of the population are neither able to read nor write, it's important to find out technology, techniques. You can use them and people can adapt them. In, in French-speaking West Africa, there is only one school for architecture. So you see? Of course, we need knowledge and technology from, from the Western world, but uh, to copy one by one, this is wrong. And always I am the first to spring or top like this. It's working. <laughs> we have to develop an, our own identity in architecture. And we have the capacity of that. Our people are really full of creativity. They're great. They can make it. We just give a, a push and then they will do it.